family. Hey everyone. Hi tastemakers. Hey family. Tanya here. Welcome to Tanya's Tasteful Table where we live tastefully for less. Today I am making some cube steak that I am going to cook in the crock pot. But I always batter my, uh, put some seasoned flour on my cube steaks and then I like to get a sear on them first. This is just me. Now you can skip this step and just season your cube steaks. You're gonna put them in the crock pot, season them and, uh, and just put them in there. And I usually put my stuff on high for four hours. I normally don't need, I need a four hour window. I don't really need uh, food to cook all day. I might let it heat up all day. So this is going to be the meat of the week. So I already did two. I'm just browning them, getting them some color. Let that crust of the uh, flour, you know, envelop them. And I season them. You know my favorite seasoning, Creole seasoning. I already have two done. I got two in here. And uh, I think there's eight all together. So I just go on and make some for the entire week. Let's see, I have to, see, I put my seasoned flour in a paper bag, shake it on up. Here are my steaks. I just put a light coating. That's all I do. That's three. One more piece in here, so I have two, four, six, eight pieces. Which will feed both of us for four days, or one of us for eight days. Me, I can eat leftovers. Hubby needs something different every day. And when we first got married and when I was out working she's like I'm not cooking every day and like that was just uh, something we had to compromise on and I was like I always have groceries there's going to be food to eat but you know I'm working out the house just like you know, I was out, out of the house working too, so I would make enough for a couple of days. And so, hey, I would eat. And then after a while, we got into leftovers. So, okay, family, I sear my cube steaks until you, when you see that red, the blood pushing up from the other side, it's time to flip it. You have a nice coating on the back. That's all we're looking for is a nice crust. Let that cook another couple of minutes. I have two more to go, and then we're going to the crock pot. We're going to place all this to the crock pot. During that time, I sliced my onions, and then I made my gravy. Okay, family, I've got all of my cube steaks browned. I did a light saute in the oil. My onions, I sauteed those lightly because this is the only meat I'm cooking this week. Okay, and here's my gravy. Make sure that's, that's gonna have my crock pot up to high. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to pour in my gravy. 
crock pots maintain a lot of uh, moisture. And then here I have my onions. I'm gonna put those in there. And I scraped off some of that fond from the bottom of the pan when I was frying the cube steaks. I'm incorporating all those onions in there. Now where's, where are my tongs? So now I'm going to put my steaks in there and there's nothing. And now you can do the same thing for a, a pressure cooker. So put, I put the bigger pieces down at the bottom. This is a big piece here, and then the medium sized ones. And just nestle them in there as much as the best you can. Here's a medium one. Then the small ones. Okay, and I'm not worrying about covering them right now. They'll, it'll steam up. Okay. So I use, I'll use a lot of paper plates because guess what? I'm just gonna throw this away. I already messed up that frying pan, but that's okay early in the day. And that's what it looks like. 